Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're doing a little setup today. I'm on the water doing the setup feature today. Not gonna take as much time. We've done it a couple times. So let's get right into it. But let's go with the conditions. Water, extremely muddy. We've had almost floods in the last few days at uh, in Louisiana, Northeast Louisiana. Secondly, the water, I mean, first of all, the water muddy. Secondly, I'm gonna be fishing white perch on some tops, um, crappie. And we're gonna go through those settings. Well, now we know where I like to start is the 75 gain. It's a good setting. It's a good place to start. Uh, doesn't always mean you're gonna be there, but it, I like to be able to go down and up accordingly. And I like 78 gain and 40 color gain. I mean, 40 color limit, 78 color gain, 40 color limit. But that those are not always set. Remember, noise reject on low or off if possible. With the muddy water, we might have to run a little bit in the low and might have to run the TVG in low. Um, I'm not a big fan of the ghost tree as much, but the ghost tree auto does work pretty good. Um, that's kind of a preference thing. But so here we go. Let's get into this. And we're going to go straight to active captain because it's a lot easier to do it uh, in active captain. Let me do a voiceover and then trying to watch the screen. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Remember, visit chattyboys.com. Uh, Chad Smith, great guy. He's putting in stuff, and I'm not getting a dime for this. I promise you I'm not getting a dime for this. I can show you my bank account. Well, I'm not going to show you my bank account. But I promise you, he's not giving me anything. Um, so this is a great thing. Uh, he's throwing in a lot of items just to, you know, he's trying to gain and better himself, and he knows our channel's growing, and so he's growing with him, and I don't mind getting involved with him. So that's awesome deal. It seems to be a great guy. I bought a few items from him. So let's go. Let's get straight into the settings. All right, guys, let's get right into the settings. Now, this is one of the hardest ones I've ever had to do. I mean, I had it on 75. Uh, I just couldn't get the perfect clear image, and I caught a lot of fish out of this tree today, and um but i started on 75 gain um i started i even i mean it got to the point where i started really tinkering hard here i turned the ghost project on auto to give it a shot to see if i could clear it up and i've got my white perch uh jig just hanging down on the line it just got the pole sticking out the front um I, i'm not trying to keep it in the beam i just got it hanging that way and it is a little bit windy but not too bad um so it kind of swings in and out of the picture just a little bit. It's only three, four foot in front of the beam. So there's a very little narrow width that it's actually in the beam. Uh, this tree is a big, uh, is, a, is a pretty decent size, about five foot wide crappie tree uh, that I think. But as you see, I'm struggling to get that real good picture. Um, I try lots of different things. I mean, I try changing the gain. I try changing... Uh, noise reject from high to low to off and the water is extremely muddy when i say extremely muddy we just had a lot of rain like i said four in, three to four inches of rain a lot of mud and silt in the water so it just kind of goes to show you that sometimes you're not going to get the perfect picture i mean i started tinkering trying to what i was trying to do is clean up the image where i can get the good target separation that i want and i'm not able to actually get the perfect target separation. I, I just wasn't able to get that number that I wanted today. I mean, I jacked up the uh, color gain and it blows it out. Uh, it bring it, you know, back to the normal spot there. I probably could even lowered it a little bit. Um, I tried running noise reject on high and, and it did clear it up and you can see that clears it up. But the problem with noise reject high is you lose your, it becomes kind of a glitchy. Um, it's not smooth. Um, and I think the computer's working so hard to uh, filter stuff out that it becomes a glitchy, glitchy uh, look on the screen. And I'm not a big fan of that. I might could have put it on medium. Medium's not near as bad as high. High is like to the extreme. And, uh, you know, rock the mic like a vandal. I don't, don't get me into vanilla ice. But <laughs> the, the jig's very visible, the line's visible. Um, but I was just trying to clear some of the clutter up. I didn't have any of the dead zones that, uh, are commonly, uh, talked about with this new update, but I wasn't able to get the good, clean, clear picture. Cause every time I got the clear picture, 
you know, you would lose some of the detail because it's filtering out so hard. I got so aggravated trying to get the perfect picture that I just put it on auto gain. And you can see right here it's on auto gain. But it also clears up just a little bit too much. So, guys, even I can't get it perfect. Oh, guys, you've seen it. With the good, I got to show you the bad. It wasn't a horrible picture. Um, it, but it wasn't the best picture that I've ever gotten. Could have had we had a, like I said a lot of floods well not floods but a lot of rain um, rain three or four inches the water was literally milk chocolate muddy and a lot of silt in the water but sometimes even I can't get the perfect settings uh, yes it's still fishable yes it's still been able to catch fish you can still see the, the fish in the brush pile and things like that but like everyone else i was trying to find the perfect picture you see i went through a lot of settings in fact i finally just got down and pushed all those games just to see what it would do um, i mean i caught a lot of crappie that day it caught some pretty good ones but i never could get the perfect setting and i guess sometimes this happens but i can't you know claim to be honest and show you 